Happy Tuesday, everybody! Happy Guild Wars 2 patch day! It comes around, but four times a year, and here we are to play the new patch, the re third release of Guild Wars 2 Secrets of the Obscure. The Realm of Dreams! The Realm of Dreams, let's go. Chapter 14, the war, or epi chapter, episode, chapter? Wait, what are, we I forgot what we're calling these. Chapter 14, the War Council. One of Isgarin's pets has found his way here. Pets? One of Isgarin's pets? Does, does, like, does she mean one of like the, the wizards? Or is this something else? Is this somebody else? Ooh, we're gonna get more of this map. <gasps> we're gonna get over here. The Niedra surrounds. All right, the War Council. Speak with Galrath. Oh, Galrath. Okay, that's that is Garen's pet. <laughs> Galrath. But more ground means more to cover, and we're stretched thin as it is. We One need or another, we a Cryptus need army. More soldiers. What about the local Cryptus? That's what I said. Raise up the Cryptus army. What we need is someone that they respect. Someone they will follow, right. even against Epoch. Right. You mean General Nephis? Nephis. Nephis. Yeah, so, so, man, she's going the good way. So, someone, we need someone that they respect enough to, uh, that it will overcome their fear of Epoch. That they would, they'll, they'll fight and they'll be willing to die for this person, even though they're scared. That, that's really, like, the positive way to go, rather than, like, we need someone they fear more than Eparch, right? Like, that's, that's like, the, the evil, the evil leader way to go. <laughs> ooh, 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 Okay, okay, wait, 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 I see, I see, I see on the minimap option. Yay! They brought back the optional story star prompt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So last last update they did away they didn't have these little story stars here these these optional story stars, um, which I really love because it tells you like hey talk to this person and you'll get more stuff right they took them away for some reason, and I actually there was a lot of people in chat who were saying like oh my god like I missed that I didn't know that you could talk to people I like I completely missed this extra dialogue and they were like you know upset about it like that wow that sucks, so. Thank you so much for bringing them back. I wouldn't have seen them all the way over here uh, if I didn't look at the mini-map, but... The problem is one of fear, of yeah. terror. They have seen what happens to those who cross him. Yeah, he eats them. They don't yet believe we can protect them from his ravenous appetites. That's why we must show them that loyalty to Epoch is no shield from his capriciousness. Right. He will gladly devour his own. Right. A park's been keeping them all in line because if they don't, he'll eat them. But we need to convince them that that's that's he'll eat them no matter even if they don't comply. Like it, that's going to happen to them anyway. So you might as well fight back against him because you need to stop this crazy madman, right? <laughs> Hi, Willow. What are the seven hex? Is that this is Ramses? <laughs> He's actually a good boy. All right, so now we have to do, um, we have to explore the new part of the map, do events and stuff. They don't, they don't trust me yet. Look at these stairs. These stairs are cool. Bridge of size. Bridge of size. The commons discovered. This is a cool stairway. Okay, I like that the story bar isn't going up at a crawl. Lanterns. Ramses speaks highly of General Nephis. Ramses could make a bump on a spider not sound exciting. I just don't see what difference one demon is going to make. Epark is just it's one like a demon. general. Yeah, oh, th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kovir, that was the perfect retort. That was the perfect retort. He's like, what difference is one demon going to make? Uh, Epark is one demon. Oh, you're my new favorite, Kovir. Some of my favorite dialogue in this game is the ambient NPCs. 
I love. Look at them. Look at them. Look at these little... cryptid. Look at them. They're so creepy looking, but like, look at them coming over here. These ones aren't scared. They're so, uh, they're so ugly, but like, they're there's these are the people we're trying to save. Like they they just don't they just don't want to be eaten by their king. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. Oh, wait, who's this? Who's this guy? Oh, who's this guy? Wait. Crypto sweeper. It's a big one. No. Is that no. What is what it what? Occasionally creates strong gusts of wind throwing me off course. Immune to all damage. Okay then. Well. That's a big head. Well of anguish. That's the evil Mystic Forge. That's the other side of the Mystic Forge. Can I swim in it? I can swim. <laughs> I didn't want to swim in it, but okay. Let's get out of there. Gross. Starving Cryptus. Oh no. He's starving. He doesn't have any arms. Eh. <laughs> Wait. Throw collected food at the target. Look out of there. Oh, energy returns. <laughs> you, you, you feed this one. Feed this one. Out of food. I think I threw that one in the water. This one's starving too. Oh, there's so many starving cryptus. They can't reach the fruit in the trees. Now they don't have to eat each other. That's right. How oh, nice. Chapter 15, forced hand. God's head. Loyalists, step aside and we will allow you to live. Join the Lady Pavis cause and you are Pavis army. <laughs> Take this pretty one alive. Kill that ugly creature at his side. Ha! I'm the ugly creature. Labrys, it is you who oversteps. Oh, damn. I will live in fear no longer. Epoch is not my king. Oh. Labrys is not my queen. Majesty. Oh, damn. Sackle, with me. Royal guard. Forward. Nephus dies. Anyone who stands with Nephus dies. Spare the rest. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. We got we got Nephus on our side. She just reminded him that yeah, he's just gonna eat you. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of the threat. The threat of being eaten. I like how um on the way up here, Patha said, like, I'm not going to try to like convince him. I'm not gonna try and like you know, roll a diplomacy and make an elegant speech about how he should join us and all that. She's like, I'm just gonna tell him the truth. Like, she's just, I'm just gonna speak truth because the truth should be enough to convince him to our side, which it was. She just said, like, you you do realize that Epark has trapped you here and it's just inevitable the day is gonna come when he's gonna, like, literally eat you and spit out your bones. Like, it's just, that's the way it is. Do you want it to keep being this way? And it seemed like he he was telling us no, and you know I'm not going to join you. That's not enough to convince me until uh, Labrys showed up, and I think he kind of realized like this this isn't going to turn out good for us no matter what. So we might as well fight. But he doesn't like Petha because Ceres was Petha's brother, right? And and he ended up working for Eparch, right? Is that what Nephis means by like? your family owes us does he mean like saris and them because they served eparch and so thus he's distrusting of petha because petha is family with them is that what that means i'm having trouble wrapping my, my brain around that the only thing i don't like about this whole um expansion honestly 
is that I feel like such an outsider to everything that's going on. Like, I feel like the commander or the wayfinder is, like, just observing all of this. Like, we're not, like, we're helping them, yeah, but we're, like, on the outside of it all. Like, it's not our people, it's not our fight. Yeah, we're helping them, which is, which is great. But, like, everything that's going on is, like, everybody's got history that doesn't involve us. And it's, like, first the wizards and all of them. And, and, yeah, it's related to Tyria and everything. But, like, I feel like it's a bunch of families warring with each other. And we're just, like, an onlooker. And, I don't know, I, I feel more disconnected from it as, a, as the player character than I did in other expansions. And maybe because we had friends, maybe because like, you know, Timey was there and Marjorie was there and Casimir and Gorik and maybe because like everybody was involved and this is like just us. I'm, I'm feeling very isolated from my friends back in Tyria and I and I miss them. I, I think is, is what it is. <laughs> I want to know what everybody else is doing. He is cool. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Your reputation precedes you. I am pretty strong. I got I As got main yours. character plot armor. What's your read on this situation? Labris is in a difficult position. She didn't expect to have to defend herself at even tides march. Is there no end to your arrogance? You believe yourself savior. You have no idea the commitment required to ensure the survival of our people. The strength of will to do that which needs doing, no matter the cost. I have the strength. Epoch has the strength. You. An upstart demonling with a cast-off traitor fawning at your side. No. You would lead us to extinction. I will not allow it. That is so cool. <laughs> that was so cool what they did with the camera. Oh! You will not allow it. Time to do some real You've damage. You've always shared Epoch's pension for delusion. Tell me, Lambus. Do you also share oh. this? Do you also eat people? We do that which must be done. Must eat people? That which the common convenience the that our survival invariably requires the uncompromising prosperity of you and your king. No, Lamus. I do not believe myself see. I believe our survival and your process really jump in are diametrically opposed <laughs> here your prosperity ends methods forward forward feet queen lavers oh she jumped in hello That's what it is. I am standing in those little things. Epoch will pick your bones from his teeth. Woo! Execute her. Hold. Majesty. This is the queen of the crypts. A one creature Epoch oh, might shit. truly value. She is worth more to us alive than dead. Oh shit. She's too dangerous. I oh, trust shit. your judgment. Kill her. Kill her now. Patha. Didn't this happen in the Ice Fruit Saga? Majesty. She is valuable. And Epoch knows it. This is folly. Every second she lives. Where you see folly, uh. I see opportunity. Wow. So they're gonna take her hostage. This time no one jumped in and and killed her. <laughs> Without our permission. 
what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong with this plan? Katha is going to address uh, all the cryptus and say, let's go fight at park. Stop living in fear. I'm going to predict that like at park shows up and crashes the speech. It's a terror link. Heaven Tides March. Coliseum of the Midnight King. See the Midnight King. That that uh, that's Epark, right? That's he's. I, I'm telling you, he's gonna show up. Look at all the cryptus, the guards. Oh, look at everybody! Everybody came. Everybody came to the show. What do you oh, want she's to all chained up. With this performance, they need to see that even Epark's most valued Paul can fall, but also that mercy is given to the vanquished. The old world collapses around you, and a new one is being... She certainly talks the part, does she not? That part, she certainly talks the part, does she not? And yet, the people always recognize oh. their one true king. There he is! There I he is! this farce with amusement. But it's time for the jesters to exit the stage. Oh, he looks awesome! Honestly, did you think you would earn the trust he... of my Cryptus? He's pulling a Joko right now. This Speak now if you would follow this child in her outburst. Yeah, no, I no one's going to say that when you're freaking I here. What? Offer. Release my queen and you will go free. Kyria will be spared, and you can live in exile there. Oh? No! You cannot compromise with these traitors! Not Peter. even for me! It appears we found the gap in your armor. You will not oh. use me this way! I see now. She broke free. How like it was nothing. I have failed you, my beloved. I have become a witness for you. Oh, no. But no longer. <laughs> woo! 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 No. Wait. Did she, she did that herself? You sought a war. You shall have it. Bring your army then. I will devour everything. Process the aftermath. He what his now? design is awesome. Continue as planned. I am not disappointed in his design at all. He will marshal every force he has against you. Okay. Wow. Wow. A lot just happened. We finally saw F Arc after all this time. After all this time, we finally saw him. He looked freaking amazing. His design was incredible. I assume she killed herself because she was a weakness for him, but the animation made it look like he killed her, which was confusing. Um there was like a like an energy that went between them and it looked like he was like sucking her energy out but i but then he screamed like he was upset that she died so i don't think that's what it was meant to be i think she killed herself which like wow now that is hardcore loyalty because because she called him my beloved so she cared about him they they cared about each other actually look at her nails oh my god <laughs> i'm glad her model stayed here so we could Look at her. Uh, and her cape is amazing, and we we need that cape in the gem store. Um, I love that also during this, uh, my little my little plush squeaky Oreen is, like, making squeaky noises. <laughs> I think that's what it was meant to be, Eternal, is that she sacrificed herself, but then her power went into him. Yeah, I think that's what it was supposed to be. He, he ate her essence. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm so glad we finally saw Epark so we get to like sit on his appearance um, until the next uh, episode. It's not like we finally get to see him in the last instance ever and that's the only time we ever get to see him, right? I'm so glad they sh they finally showed him. Like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be excited to see him again rather than like, can we finally see him already, right? I will make only one offer. Release my queen and you will go free. Tyria will be spared and you can live in exile there. That is so interesting to actually offer like Tyria as an exchange. So he really did care about her. You will not use me this way. I see now how I have failed you, my beloved. I have become a weakness for you. Ooh, ooh, is that good? Ooh, is that good? But no longer. And then she kills herself because she is a weakness. And I love how she doesn't just say, oh, I've become a weakness. She puts it on herself and says, I have failed you. And then to call him my beloved, like, I also love you, but that was my failure is like us falling in love. I don't know what their love story is, but like, I don't know if it was like not made him fall in love with her, you know, but like she didn't want to ever be a weakness for him. That is a fantastic line. I see now I have failed you, my beloved. I have become a weakness for you, but no longer. That might be my favorite line in the expansion. Certainly the, the patch. He will care more about killing us than about his own survival. There is nothing that he mm. won't sacrifice for revenge. If we are lucky, he will be as a result. Ah. But there will be no chance for diplomacy any longer. He will fight to his final breath. Okay. It's like now all that all that he has left is 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 wrath. That is such a cool shot with like that castle in the background. Paith is there. This this uh this release was I, I like I like like the pacing and the the story beats um, and the length of this release more than the last one personally. I love these little like this guard here, this elite guard. Their designs are so incredible. We saw a lot of them this patch. <laughs> Squeaky! Oh, look at that! It's so cool. See, this would be a good shot, is like her looking at it. Yeah, there, that's it. That's it. Yes. So good. Looms in the background. I like how it's like suspended in air almost. Like it's floating. It's not even like connected. It's like a series of towers. And the, like, it's like those blighting, those, um, those, those blighting towers, like upside down. Reminds me of the Nightmare Tower in season one. That was a great ending. Because sometimes it's like these uh, the, these in between patches kind of end like they they're kind of just like okay until next time you know like they, there's not like they don't go out with a bang. This this instance wasn't even a fight, but it was way more impactful. I love everything about how this went. Epark showed up. We finally got to see him. We got to see that he is vulnerable. He has a weakness. Um, like, I, I I, think that was brilliant to bring in the queen. And, in you know, that's a great example of, like, how only in, like, a few lines they can, like, really establish, like, you know, they cared about each other. Um, which is really cool because, like, he's the evil, insane overlord king right and you know you're not really supposed to have like empathy with him because he's doing all these horrible things but like in that one scene i i felt emotion remember how we were saying earlier in this in this patch how we had trouble connecting like i don't think i've connected with anything more than like epark caring about <laughs> about labrys that was so good that was so good
That was so good. Now I'm extra looking forward to the uh, finale, which I assume will be around May. And then in August, we'll get expansion five. I'm curious how he's going to go down and if us killing Labrys um, is going to create that uh, that mistake that he's going to make, right? If, if, if he does something rash and then we uh, take that opportunity and that's what brings him down. That would be super cool. I would actually really like that. <laughs> How could someone be so monumentally stupid as to kidnap the queen, right? So good. Uh, ah, so good. Now that I think about it, I want Isgarin to join the fight because I want Isgarin and Eparch to meet and have like a final conversation before Eparch dies. Like, that was one of the things that led him on this tirade to begin with, is that Eparch wanted to join the wizard's court and become a wizard, and Isgarin denied him. He wouldn't let him. And so Eparch's just like, well, fine. I'm gonna go back to Nios and become the king, and over time just went crazier and crazier and started eating people. Yes, those two have a history that we know very little about. Like, that's about all we know. They're exes. They totally, they dated, okay? And I want, I want them to have uh, one last lover spat <laughs> Be before he dies. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. It was so fun. And this, this release was really good. I'm, I'm really happy with this one.